Chris Fitch. Just like I guarantee, it's time to get a break going. What are we doing, Uncle Jesse? It's going to be 2017 Panini Classics Football. Half case. That's a five box break. Number five, eBay style. So with, uh, without any further of ado, uh, come join your boy. Come on. Now something tells me. No, I think the, the settings are correct on this. All right, so from the looks of it, I seem to have some takers on the Immaculate Filler. I have nine spots. I think I'm at seven left. If I'm not mistaken, I had Steel Curtain for one. And my man swinging his athletics for the second spot. All right, let's see what's in this stuff. Uh, before I do, though, you already know the deal, kids. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. So nice. All righty. Let's see what's in this. It's been a while. Dolphins came up with the clutch interception. It doesn't matter because we're probably still going to lose. You know what? I've been uh, I've been watching like well, I've been watching hella college football this weekend. Um, but I really like the quarterback from Oklahoma, man. How many of you guys were watching college football this past weekend? Pretty crazy weekend, man. Georgia lost, Notre Dame lost, go Hurricanes. Alabama almost lost. Clemson almost lost too to the hurt to the. What's their, what, what are they called again? The Florida State, whatever they are. The Seminoles? Yeah, those guys. Alright, Katie, just because it's your birthday, I'm going to hook you up with that damn Dan the Man Marino. Yeah, swinging athletics, not a problem, man. Um, I'm not sure if you want to like put your digits, you know, send me your digits in an IM. Um, that way I can get in contact with you. I mean, however you want to do it. You want to send me an email, whatever. Uh, I'll be sure to get in contact with you, uh, Kyle. Yeah, dude, I really like Baker Mayfield. And it's not so much his skills, his awareness in the pocket. Like, he has, at least from what I can tell, he has all the tools necessary to be a great quarterback. Um, but what really puts it over the top for me is what he says after the game. You know what I mean? He's all like... Oh, we could have done better. You know, could have done... Y'all just blew the team out. Yeah, we still could have done better. I need that. I need that on my team. Uh, when does the break that just sold on eBay get opened? Uh, that depends on what you're talking about, Swag Yellow. If you're talking about Prestige, that's at 10 o'clock. And as a matter of fact, I know you guys don't like to do this, but uh, I'm going to need you guys to read. Because break times are in the description of the listings. So, uh, read, people. Read. He's like Wentz? Oof. I don't know, man. Because, see, the thing with Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz went to, like, a small college. Whereas Mayfield is going to, like, a big, like, a power five team. You know what I'm saying? Chris Fitz says he takes one in the filler? Is that what I'm, is that what I'm seeing? 75 bucks a spot. Jags random. I mean, yeah, you might be on to something there. All right, let's see what's in this stuff. Let's see what we got. This stuff is tough to hit. The good old dummy cards. We got that old school design. Got that good old paper. Thought it'd be numbered or something. It's been a while since I've seen this product. This thing came out a few months ago. Haven't seen it since. Got you swinging athletics. For the bills to $3.99, Doug Flutie.
How about them hurricanes? Dude, I was so hyped for that game. Oh my god. I was legit nervous though. I'm like, damn, this is going to be a tough game. I hope the boys can make it competitive. I hope it's not a blowout. <laughs> and it was a blowout up for I for our end. That was awesome. Emmanuel Sanders to 299 for the Broncos. Now, if the Dolphins could just win tonight, I would be happy. Yeah, I know they're upside down. But uh, check it out. If you'll notice, some of the cards are right side up. So it's kind of like, fuck me either way, you know. Donald Driver to 299 for the Packers. And, you know, and let's be honest. We care about the autographs. But you are correct. It's a lot better to see them when they're right side up. <laughs> well, what do we have here? For the Steelers to 199, Joshua Dobbs. With the auto magic. So, Jamie, I'm assuming you have the, the Niners trying to get the Steve Young mojo. Ah, I got these sepia. These are uh, short printed, these sepias right here. In case you didn't know, Uncle Jesse got you with the knowledge, baby. It's all about the veteran base. All about the veteran base. Let's see if we can uh, get you some hotness, my man. Number 10 out of 10. That is nice. Dion Primetime Sanders. That's that's what they call him, right? For the Falcons. That is nice. 10 out of 10. That is a low parallel. So you know I got to top load it. All right. <laughs> These cards are cool, man. I do like the old school design of them, the old school look. Um, just not many hits in this, man. We got about an auto and a, and a relic per box on this. Low parallels in this box, though. Three out of ten, repping the U. Although he went to uh, the Colts. Adrian James, three out of ten. Nice. The special no name card, right? So that that might go for some moolah on the on the eBay's. And there they put this name there. Hmm. Honestly, I've never I've never noticed that. That's the first card that I noticed. At least this this one right here, where it doesn't have his name on it. That's kind of cool. And the millions. What's up, Ra Ra? How was your weekend, man? Did you guys uh, have a good time hanging out with the cardboard Jesus? You got yourself that stranger love word. I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man. Sometimes you got to sit on it till it goes numb. And then, boom, it's like somebody else did it. Magic. What about the rest of you watching over on eBay? Well, from eBay, I should say, watching on YouTube. I know. I mean, I see a lot of you guys in the chat, but uh, I, I don't see any. I don't see any love in the chat, man. You know, don't be surprised if uh, you know. For those in the chat that are saying, you know, oh, I want that Steve Young. I want the Dan Marino. I pull it, 
And then you're all like, oh man, why didn't you pull nothing for me? Well, you weren't in the chat. Val Venus is a lot like Cement Rock. <laughs> uh, dude, Val Venus, his character was pretty funny. Although it was no joke. But you know who I like better than Val Venus? I like the Godfather. Because the, the Godfather will walk out with his trainer hose. Oh man, that was that was good times. What up, MM Sports Cards? How you doing? The whole train. Dude, I need that theme music. I need somebody to look that up for me. Because I need to play that. D-Lo Brown. What y'all know about D-Lo Brown? He's a dickhead. Is he really? D-Lo Brown, the guy that used to shake his head or whatever? Oh, damn. According to my boy Mario, he's a dickhead. Which I could kind of see. I mean, anybody that shakes his head that violently is probably not right in the head. Roger Craig to 299 for the uh, Niners. <clears throat> gotcha. Well, Katie, if it makes you feel any better, I'm also watching the chat breaking and watching the Dolphins at the same damn time. Multitasking like a beast. Uh, speaking of beasts, nice, nice auto here for the Bucks to 189, Chris Godwin. There you go, Ra Ra. I'm going to click on that when I get a chance. Well, I can't play it right now, but you know what I mean. An Eli Manning Sepia short print for the Giants. So, Katie, I'm assuming you also met D Lil Brown? Damn. You know, I've never, I actually, my boy sent me a message. I have a chance to go to, uh, to Raw on New Year's, and I might just do it. I might just do it. James Harrison to 50 for the Steelers. Believe it or not, I've never been to, like, a wrestling event. I would love to go. Uh, the auto, this goes to the Bucks. Chris Godwin goes to the Bucks. You've met many, I don't like how you said that. I don't like how you said that. I, I will not tell your husband. Then again, your husband's probably a wrestler. I would not be surprised. Yeah, Chris Godwin goes to the books. Uh, Landon Collins to two ninety nine for the Giants. Um. Anyways, I've never met a wrestler. I mean, I met a few athletes here and there. The biggest dick athlete I could tell you for sure I've met is Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. You would think is a cool dude? Not really. Pete Rose is another one. Pete, Ro I've met Pete Rose as well. Pete Rose is kind of a jackass. D'Lo Brown's a chef? What? That is random. Speaking of random, to 399, Michael Vick of the Falcons uh, with the random patch right there. I always, always like hearing about people meeting like celebrities or, I mean, not that I would consider D'Lo, I wouldn't consider him like a celebrity, but you know, you know what I mean. He was on TV and whatnot. So it's always interesting to me when people tell me about oh dude i met i met uh i met alonzo morning bro i'm like yeah oh shit you met alonzo that's awesome no not really he's kind of an asshole oh damn that's not cool evan engram to 299 oh gotcha katie i mean listen hey I, you, uncle jesse don't judge you know this Anyways, need to put this stuff away. I still have three boxes to go through. See what we can uh, manage in these last three boxes. There'll probably be a Hall of Fame auto in this. Calling it.
Oh, damn. That is pretty embarrassing, Sean B. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a, that's a tad embarrassing. Did he, like, was he cool about it? Did he, like, at least help you get up and was like, how are you, young man? You kind of busted ass pretty hard there, huh, son? And then, you know, and then gave you, like, an iced tea and lemonade right after. That would be cool. Meeting Arnold Palmer? He seems like a cool dude. You know what they say, though? You never want to meet your heroes because then you're probably going to get disappointed. But I find it hard to believe that I'll get disappointed by The Rock. The Rock just seems like a really cool fucking guy, man. He signed your well, he signed an autograph for you and he said, Be careful. <laughs> I would have been like, You okay, little buddy? Run much? <laughs> I would definitely be that celebrity dick. For sure. I would have been all like, run much? You okay there, little buddy? What's up, Gabe? Listen, by the way, you're the first one to ask. So thank you, bro. I am definitely feeling a whole lot better. I'm definitely feeling a whole lot better, man. You know, I still got uh, got some sniffles here and there, but, you know, I don't have a headache. I don't have, you know, all the other bullshit that comes with it. I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank God. How about you, Gabe? Everything good, man? How was your weekend? As I open up these packs. You know, it's kind of tough for me to watch Dolphin games now. Because at the beginning of the year, oh, I'm full of hope. You know what I'm saying? But like, what is it? Nine, ten weeks down deep and I already know what kind of team we have. Now it's like I'm watching them and all I can think about is, okay, well, what are you going to fuck up? That's that's all I can, uh, that's all I can wait for is, oh, oh what are you going to fuck up? And I know they'll start playing in the fourth quarter. Like, they'll start to, to care. And they'll try to they'll try to make it competitive in the fourth quarter. It always happens. I, I don't. It's a Miami thing. The Dolphins do it. The Heat do it. The Hurricanes do it. Everybody does it. Like I don't get it. With that being said, I can't wait till next weekend. And uh, I get to see another Hurricane game. That, man, that game had me so hyped, man. That game had me so hyped, dog. I had a good weekend. Anytime the Hurricanes win, it's a good weekend. Uh, well, Bobby, I'm not sure what you're talking about, if I'm being honest. Unless you, uh, well, actually, hold on. Hugh uh, Michael Henney. For the nine or so two nine nine. Do you mean like these? The idolized inserts that have uh, multiple peeps. Uh, I'll just do a random for it at the end. Joshua Dobbs with another autograph to twenty five for the Steelers. I haven't been separating them, but uh, I do notice they have the idolized inserts with uh, two players and whatnot. I'll see if I can. I'll keep note of them from now on. Um, but yeah, I'll just random them. It'll be left and right random, seeing as how there's you know two players on the left and on the right. Like so far, these idolized have the same team, so it doesn't really matter. But some like these that have multiples, uh, I'll just random them, like I said, left and right. On the back of the card, left and right. Uh, with these idolized, it'll be the same thing, left and right. You know, obviously, depending on if they have multiple teams with the card or not. I haven't separated them, but uh, I will make note of it. I appreciate that, Bobby. Thanks for the heads up, man. Super cool of you. I appreciate that. Uh, to 25, Terrell Pryor of the Browns. Uh, 
Oh man, that would be pretty to see. That must have been hella pretty to see. Yeah, these also have multiple players. So I'll just random them. Actually, it'll be a lot easier if I just do it from the front of the card. Because if I look at the back of this career colors insert, they have the top and bottom, so it'd be difficult to do left and right. Uh, so I'll just go off the front of the card, how they have left and right with these inserts. So I'll just go through the front. I always do recaps at the end of the break. To 199, Larry Fitzgerald of the Cardinals with the patch. And shame on you. Shame on you for not for not watching the entire thing. Uh, Rocky Blyer to 299 for the Steelers. But yes, I mean, I always, and I do mean always, 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 all, did I say always? Because I meant always. I always recap the breaks at the end of the video. Like, once I'm done opening and going through everything, I always recap the autographs. And only the autographs, you know, because uh, <laughs> that's what really we care about. Mike Williams to 299 for the Chargers. Oh, in that case, John, hey, you know, do it to it, baby. See what else we got. Gamari Cooper to 299 for the Raiders. Not to mention, I still have that giveaway going. Uh, I was, I left it up to Jason to see if he wanted to change the giveaway. Maybe uh, you know, giveaway product or a spot in a break or something like that. He just kept going with the uh, with the $200 giveaway that we have right now, which is at 49 spots. But if we can fill some breaks here tonight, we can get that thing going. Uh, let me keep these separated somewhat here anyway. Got two boxes left. Uh, well, listen, Brandon. I will hook you up with some break credit. Um, I'm not sure how much you paid for that spot, Brandon. Uh, but I know for a fact that card is not worth... Uh, ten dollars. I think that card will probably be worth, you know, maybe a couple bucks. So what I'll do, Brandon, is I'll give you a break credit for ten dollars, man. How's that? What's up, Nicholas Hagar? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, and uh, I do have some good news for you. I have postseason archives back in the store. If you're interested in getting into another war, I got them. As a war. $59.99. Get you in it. But Brandon, make sure you come back after you eat dinner, man. Speaking of eating dinner. Whoa. Uh, I should probably eat dinner too. I mean, I brought food today. Anyways, see what else we got. It, like, I thought about you, man. I thought about it. I was like, well, listen, what's, what, what do I need to do when I come back? Not to mention, I do have a pretty sweet filler going for uh, for Immaculate Football PYT. Christian McCaffrey just walked into the end zone. Ah, uh, classic Dolphins. I guarantee you we're going to go three and out now. We'll probably turn the ball over because we're fucking pieces of shit. Anyways, I have six spots left in the filler. I have Steel Curtain, Swinging Athletics, and Chris Fitz in the filler. 75 bucks, random team, with a shot at the Jaguars as well because the Jaguars are random to the filler. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and drop a digit. Let me know how many spots you want. Yeah, I haven't checked the store either in a second, so, I mean, I don't know if uh, any other teams have been picked up here or, what, or whatever. I'm going to try to do that here real quick. 
And it doesn't look like anything's come through. So filler is still six spots left in the filler. If somebody were to drop that in the chat, that would be awesome. Or I could just do it myself. If I could find it. Here it is. Copy that. Come down here. Boom, boom. And drop it in the chat so people know what's up. Got six spots left. Drop it there too. Virginia and Miami. Oh, that's a noon game. That's a trap game. We need to win. Oh, I just noticed this. That's not good. Better? Better. By the way, it's going to be a short week for me this week, guys. Uh, I will not be live on Friday. Which means extra cardboard Jesus time. I need a vacation, man. I need a vacation. I'm going to take, uh, take a little trip to Georgia. Hang out with some family out there. My birthday's Monday, so they invited me. So who am I to say no? Plus the ride is free. So shit. Might as well go to Georgia and get a uh, riggedy riggedy rick. Emmett Smith to two ninety nine for the boys. Well, Sean B, which which shield would that be? I mean, did I pull that? Wait, hold up. I just noticed this. Vincent Edward Jackson, number five out of five for the Raiders. Shame on me for almost missing on that. Oh, the OJ Howard. I do have a picture of it, but I did not post it. I'm sorry. For the U to 49, Brad Kaya with the auto. I believe that'll go to the Lions, you know, according to the checklist. I believe that's, that's who he goes to. Not hating Sean B. I just be forgetting. You know what I'm saying? It's all love, baby. It's all love. I just forgot, man. So there's another dual player thingy majiggy. To 25, Malachi Dupree. Not sure what team he goes to. I want to guess and say he's a Seahawk, but that's probably wrong. There's a good chance that's wrong. That's another uh, dual team insert there. I'll just do the random uh, from the front of the picture to make everyone's life easier. And they sorters, me, you know, the whole nine. Same thing with this one. There's two different players. Actually, it's the same player, Steve Young. They just play, he played for different teams on that one, so it's not like it matters. Well, it does matter because they're two different teams, so. Yeah. Dummy cards, yeah, we love them dummy cards, dog. Put all the stuff away. You know, Dolphins, it sure would be nice if you could score a touchdown, you know, before the end of the half. That would that would be nice. To 299 Terrell Suggs of the Ravens. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you guys do with your professional teams. But like the Dolphins are so bad. They're like, we have an ongoing conversation in Miami where it's like, oh, dog, I bet I bet the Hurricanes could beat the Dolphins, dog. They probably can. To 189, Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. with the dual relic for the uh, 
Giants. Dupree is a Packer. I appreciate that. Thank you for Googling that for your boy. AJ Green with the Sepia insert for the Bengals. To 299, Cam Robinson. No idea who he plays for. I'll be completely honest. And we're going to have one box left after I'm done sorting through this one. That's it for that box. Yeah, I just started separating those with the multiple teams on them. Uh, but I will we'll go back through them again and let my sorters know. Uh, what teams those go to once I uh, figure out the random at the end. And last box mojo. And Jarvis Landry got lit up. I love how Jarvis Landry got up before the DB. Like, Jarvis Landry took, took the brunt of that hit and got up before the corner. Like, how? You little bitch. You little stupid ass bitch. Alright, so I just checked the store. No movement. What's the deal with that? What's up with that? This feel immaculate, guys. 11, 10 teams left. 10 teams left. Ridiculous. Right here. You guys watch any good movies this weekend? I still haven't seen Thor Ragnarok. I want to see it. From what from what everybody tells me, it's hilarious. Jump, put it on me, put it on me. You guys watched Unbroken? What is that, like a rom-com? A romantic comedy or some lame shit like that? Ah, yes. You know what, John? <clears throat> I had heard a lot about that. About uh, it being a lot of a comedy. I would have to watch it. I would have to watch it because I don't know. Honestly. And Dominican Sue to tune in for the Dolphins. Well, Marvel is a little bit more on the comedic side of things. I Listen. I was going to say this, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies are probably my favorite out of the whole Marvel, like, cinematic universe or whatever they have going. And to me, those are my favorite movies, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxies. TJ Watt, that's an auto for the Steelers, kids. That's a good one. That is a good one. What else we got here? What else we got? To 25, Curtis Samuel. That goes to the Panthers. Donkey Kong is in Thor? That don't make no sense. Like, uh, By the way, I mean, some of you guys know already because I've been regurgitating it. But I'm going to Georgia this weekend. And uh, I'll get there late Friday. Probably like around 8 o'clock Friday. 
and we're gonna go watch the Justice League. And I'm probably gonna sneak in and watch Thor Ragnarok right after. Gary on Conley to two ninety nine. That Justice League movie might be good. I'm not. I'm not fully sure on that. Damn, Kurt Warner, you play for three teams, dog. Got a patch here. To two ninety nine, Tyreek Hill, Devin Hester, with the dual patch. That's going to have to get randomed. I'll do that random separately from the inserts. Right, the previews make it look like it's going to be an amazing movie. To 299, Mike Singletary of the Bears. Come on, Devontae, get in that end zone, dog. Who is Hester with on that? The Falcons. Hester's with the Falcons. Cameron Sutton to 299. Not sure what pro team he plays for, honestly. That's why we use group break checklist, baby. I will do those dual teams later. And that's it for the break. All right. So we're going to do randoms here in a bit. Dang, John. Let somebody else get some hits, man. Greedy. I'm just kidding. I'd be the same way. All right. <clears throat> so before I do this recap, which I always do, um, first things first, need to do a random here. Uh, the random is going to be, well, first off, I'm going to do this one just because it's like stands out the most to me. This is the only one I caught, but chances are there are multiple of these. So I'm going to treat this as a uh, triple teams because, you know, there's three different teams. There's the Rams, the Giants, and the Cardinals. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll dice and see how many times we're going to do that. Dolphins got in the end zone, baby! Touchdown, Dolphins. It's about damn time. Uh, where are my, my, my dice, though? Here to go. Here to go. Oh, Donkey Kong is Sue's nickname? I didn't know that. I just call him Tsunami. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, we're gonna go five times in the randoms to uh here. Um You're rooting for Miami. Oof. I don't I don't know if I like it when people root for my team. That, you know, especially because we suck so much. One, I don't want you to, like, you know, lose all hope in life because, you know, dolphins will do that to you. How late am I going to stream? Well, Nicholas, that depends on how, how the room is, honestly. If the room is dead, your boy is probably going to uh, kick rocks. Uh, but I'm trying to I'm trying to go as, as late as possible, man. You know, four, five, six in the morning. There you go. Rooting against the Panthers. That is more like it. All right. So that's not going to work for me. Put up another random thing here. All right. So there's my random.org. Going five times. Uh, in particular, you see how I have left, middle, and right. That's for these cards. I'm not sure if there's multiple of them, but, you know, I got to cover my butt. Make sure I do things correctly. So it's either going to go to the left team, the middle team, or the right team in the front of the card. We're going to go five times in the randoms. 
Good luck, guys. And the money shot. Five. So it's going to go to the left team. Let me make a note of that. Alright, so for the triple team, it'll go to the team on the left. So in this case, the Rams. Now let's do these. As you can see in the front of the cards, these have two teams. Obviously, if it goes, you know, if there's two teams, but it's the same team, it goes to that one team. So this will go to the Redskins. Um, but these that have two different teams is going to go to the, either to the left or the right team. Alright, same deal with these. It's even though it's the same player play for two different teams, the Bucks and the Niners. So we're gonna go left and right on these. I, I. Going five times. Let me do another random. So we're gonna go left. Would help if I knew how to spell, and then right. We're going. Five times, so here we go. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four, and the money shot. Five. So again, going to the left time. Goes to the team on the left. On these. So it'll go to the Raiders on that. Broncos on that, Patriots on that, uh, Packers on that, because we're looking at the front of the card, Bucks on this one, Falcons on this, etc., etc. Uh, Prestige, Gingerbread Will, it is in the description, people. Read the description! It's at 10 o'clock. All right, now I'm going to do a separate random for this one, Dual Relic. Got the Chiefs and the Falcons. So let's do that now. Chiefs, Falcons, and let's roll the dice for, you know, for shits and gigs. We're going to go seven times this time. Don't suffer, Nicholas. Your, your boy going to make it better. All right, so it's going to go to the top team on the list, going seven times. Good luck, guys. And the money shot, seven, is going to go to the Falcons. Make a note of this. Oh, I'm going to need some more uh, post-it notes. That's cool. All right, so this one, Tyreek Hill, Devin Hester. Dual Relic goes to the Falcons. Boom. Post a note makes it real. All right. So let's recap this stuff now. Let's recap the autos because that's honestly what we care about. So we got TJ Watt, Steelers, Brad Kaya, who I believe is a lion, according to the group break checklist, uh, Joshua Dobbs, Steelers, Chris Godwin, Bucks, and Joshua Dobbs, Steelers. Pretty much... A Steelers uh, half caser here. And that, my friends, was the break. 2017 Panini Classics Football half case. Five box break. Number five. eBay style. Thank you very much.